I'll just say what I am um, titled my email to them. Are you going to keep on stealing money from me or are you going to actually do something about it? Okay, so I've had Green Dot for almost a year because I almost had my $60 cash back. Or is that $60? I've worked hard for this. And my husband has an account too. Two different accounts, two different names, everything. Well, I had a Target charge on my account that was doubled. And then I also had like three of the same items. So I just took it to Target and I was like, okay, hey, I got this like three times. I got this one like twice, my bad. But I was still over $400 short in my bank account versus what Target actually charged me. So I had to call Target, call Target corporate, all to realize that all my bank had to do was just call their bank and say, hey, did y'all refund it? Or is it going to come out of her bank? Because it was pending on my account. So I had about 288.61 charges and a 171 charge. And they were just pending, just up in the air. So I was like, okay, I gave Green Dot the seven to 10 business days. After the 30th day, I was like, okay, it's still pending. Y'all haven't done anything. Everybody's telling me that all y'all have to do is call a bank. Why don't you do that? Do you want me to do it for you? I can. I need that money. And, um, they're like, no, uh, it's just pending. And they keep repeating the same thing. And you can tell it's scripted. It's just over and over. And I really thought it was just me. Then my husband and I were moving. So we had to stay in a hotel so we can buy the house. And we went to go stay at a hotel and it wasn't nice at all. So we got refunded the money not even five minutes later. Still is yet to be on his card. And it's like two weeks later. Same exact issue. They don't call the other bank. So it just goes up in the air. So it's not pending on my account. It doesn't go back to my account, but it doesn't come out of their bank account. So it's basically free money for them. And I didn't want to believe that at first, but then I started having $70 Grubhub that I don't use charges. And all of those are still pending. And they tried to tell me that I only had a 17 cent charge pending on my account. So I had to screenshot it and send it to them. So whenever I started realizing that I had to do like a lot of work for them to just like, it's like common sense shit. Like, why am I doing this? Like, why am I sending you all of this? And I realized that I've had the same person every time. Didn't realize it at first at all. And once I did, I started recording all the phone calls because she would tell me that she'd have a supervisor call me back. I'd never get a call back. Um, email me, never got an email. Um, uh, like literally I would, my husband called, he got the same girl and he told, or he, she told him the same exact thing. And I called her immediately back. Not even her. I called the green dot bank card number and we end up getting her every time. So I was like, I know you're not the only lady running green dot here. Okay. And if you are all the power to you, but can you call my bank, please, or call their bank. And she's like, no, um, I'm going to transfer you to a supervisor. And this is after a week of her saying that every day and me never getting transferred. So finally I'm calling and I like, I'm literally being rude to her because I can't really understand her. So whenever I call and plus she doesn't help me, I was like, can I speak to somebody who knows better English? Cause I could barely hear what she said. And uh, she was like, no, I'm the only person here. Okay. Can I have your corporate's number? No, I don't have one. Okay. So this lady is single-handedly taking on green dot. No wonder why there's some issues there. Okay. Okay, cool. But I was like, you do know it's illegal for you not to give me your corporate's number, correct? And she said, yes. Uh, I don't know it. I'm not a part of it. We don't have a connection to them. I said, you don't have a connection to your corporate office. Who writes your paychecks? Like, why are you running me through this whole loop for nothing? You doing it for free? Because you really need a life. Like, I, I was kind of, I got kind of shitty with her. I got really mean. I made her cry. Um she, I asked her what her name was and what her employee name was. And she spelt it out for me. And like, you could barely understand her. And I was like, wait, I looked at it and it's crystal. Her name is crystal. I was like, you couldn't have just said that. I got her employee number. And then I called two days later to get her employee number again. Of course it was different every time. So I asked my reference number for that call, which she gave me the employee number that she gave me last time for herself. And when I started realizing that, I just kept calling and calling and calling. I finally got some guy to answer the phone. And I was like, supervisor. He's like, gotcha. 
immediately got a supervisor. The supervisor then went on to tell me about how there is no notifications, no uh, written marks, nothing that I have even called. I haven't been asked to be transferred to a supervisor. I haven't been written in. She actually gave me a reference number. I, th I think she's the only one who actually did. I tried to call her back the next day. No answer. Can't get transferred to a supervisor again because I keep getting this girl. And I, I told her, I was like, okay, you're asking for my information. You're asking for my social, which it states everywhere that you're not supposed to do. I'm still giving it to you. Um, so if you're not going to transfer me to your supervisor, can I get my lawyer to go after you personally for fraud? And she said, no. I said, why not? Because you're the one who's not doing the job. And someone's going to have to take the blame for it. And you think it's going to be green that? No. They're a corporate office and you're you. It's just how it is. And she started get. she would put me on hold for about five minutes, two times, and then hang up. Every time she did the same thing to my husband, I noticed it. And uh, the, it says you can hang up and take a survey afterwards. And they won't hang up the phone. They will literally stay on the phone, not saying anything. So they don't, or so you don't have to take a survey. Like I have literally never done a survey for them. And it's, it's kind of, it makes me mad. Like it really does. I'm like, okay, I'm going to get her on the survey. Really? And like, we sat on the phone. She was like, you can hang up now. I said, yeah, so can you. So can you hang up the phone? Cause I want to do your survey. And then she's like, okay, transferred me to like another busy line and hung up. Like, I don't understand how hard it is to just be like, oh yeah, hey, it's going to be pending for a couple of days. It'll hit your card here in a minute. My pending charge, my pending charges for Target are now gone and they did not hit my account. And I asked her how much I had in my account when the pending charges happened. I had $5,000 in my account. I don't know if they thought that I wouldn't pay attention to what I had, but going off of talking to lawyers and getting a lawyer, they're going to have to pay me what my bank account was when they took it out so far that I've heard. So, I mean, I don't understand why Green Dot is making such a big deal out of a couple $88 charges and a couple $50 charges. Like just like it, I called Grubhub and I was like, Hey, I never placed an order with y'all with my card. It's not in my account. They looked at my card number through everything. Not one person in the United States and wherever else they go used my card for that amount. So Grubhub literally couldn't help me. They couldn't refund my money because it wasn't taken out of anything, but it was taken out of my account, which was also my green dot, which is the same card. Except for the refund. What solution are you looking for? I just want the refund. And even if not the refund, to at least explain to me why they broke my contract into money that they should never have held on to for that long because I got it refunded right that day, right that day by the store. Cause tar target corporate office called me and was like, Hey, you're right. We did double charge you. And we're really sorry. We don't know how that happened. We're going to send it over to our tech team, our tech team too, to go further into it. And cause I was buying baby clothes. So it was like a lot of different things. <laughs> and, um, I mean, I was like, okay, yeah, that's fine. All they had to do was call and get the confirmation number. And so now we're like over a thousand dollars just up in the air from Green Dot because all everybody else is either refunding the money or they don't even know where the charge came from. And we keep getting these charges to our card that the other companies don't have anybody using my card. Like they looked at my card number for anybody who used it. Why did you decide to go public and share your experience with them? Because it pissed me off. Like, they could have just refunded it and it'd be fine. But no, sending me on around and around and around. Like, you should hear the video messages. Like, I mean, yeah, I got pretty mean. But it's because she literally was just repeating from a script. If she didn't repeat from a script, like, I said, there's a pending charge on my account that should not be there. Okay, well, did it, did it, like, reading from the exact same script. I'm like, no, 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 no. It's this. No, it's not that kind of pending. It's this one. And she's like, oh, well, and restarts the script. And if she wouldn't have put me on hold to get me help and then put me on hold again and just to hang up, and if she didn't skip out on her surveys, I probably wouldn't have even gone public. I probably wouldn't even cared. But that, that, that's just low. And that's shady. And that, that, that's petty. It made me mad.